Hey guys, it's Lord with another video, and this right here is my WWE NXT review for the Class of Champions ch Champion show. And um, yeah, like uh, seeing the show again on TV made me uh, feel good about you know being there and all that stuff. And you know, I really enjoyed the show, and seeing it again on TV was really good. Um, first off, immediately we get Antonio Cesaro and Adrian Neville in a good match. Really good match for the United States title. It was back and forth, but Cesaro kind of controlled it, if you want to say so. Um, some pretty sick spots here. Six spots. <laughs> um, one, uh, when Neville uh, was bouncing off the ropes, Cesaro put him up in the air, and it looked like he was going for a very, very European uppercut, but um, Neville hits him with a Dragon, a dragon Rana um, into a brain buster, it looked like, because Cesaro, cause Cesaro, he kind of sold it as a brain buster, he was, like, holding his head up like this, like, oh, and acting all woozy, and, uh, they put it over on commentary, so, yeah, that, that, that was pretty good, uh, uh, Neville hit a standing moonsault, um, Cesaro, uh, hits the sick-ass uppercut on Neville, um, f um, for the finish, um, until the neutralizer, um, for the win, and like I said, this was a good match. This was a good match, and um, never proves why he should be on the main roster. Um, he impressed a lot of uh, the officials at WrestleMania at the accidents during the weekend, and um, you know, he he continues to impress. And Cesaro, why he's jobbing is so beyond me, but he deserves better. Um, so let's get him better WWE. Um, and uh, yeah, good match. Now. Um, you know, I would prefer to see this on the main roster instead of Kofi Kingston with the United States Championship. Just somebody new with it. Kofi's done had that belt like four or five times already. And they're in the Continental title. I don't know which one he had most, but it doesn't even matter. Give Kofi something new. But um, anyways, this is not about Kofi. But um, yeah, I would prefer to see this on TV. On main roster TV. Then you get Caitlyn versus AJ Lee. Pretty sure this match will happen again at Extreme Rules, as it should. Um, These two know each other like the back of their head, so... Um, the match was good. It was good. Caitlyn uh, works over, uh, you know, a shoulder injury after uh, she misses a spear and hits the shoulder on the, against the ring post. Um, AJ works the shoulder and submissive and technical holds. It was good. Um, AJ Lee um, really looked good here. A Caitlyn looked good here. Um, neither Diva looked weak or looked sloppy out there. It was a good match. And um, the ending comes where AJ Lee is bouncing off the ropes and Caitlyn hits her out of nowhere, out of the air with a spear. Because <laughs> uh, AJ Lee, had, she didn't have her feet on the ground, and Caitlyn just said, BAM! One, two, three, and it's over. Good match, like I said. Good Divas match. I enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see what they do with it at Extreme Rules. So, I look forward to that. Yeah, that's right. RJ is looking forward to a Divas title match at a pay-per-view. Yeah, something something must be wrong, right? Um, But, anyways, we got Biggie Langston to squash his Brad Maddox in 1 minute and 15 seconds for the NXT title. Afterwards, does his normal shit. I can't wait to see what they do with Biggie Langston after this. Um, at the next tapings, I think they should have him defend the title multiple times. You know, during the next tapings, that's just me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I think they should. You know, have him defend the title a little bit more. Um, they did it. They did it good. He defended the belt twice during the taping, so that's pretty good. And is it me or does it look like Biggie might turn face on the main roster because? I don't know if you noticed, but he's been like AJ and Dolph, you know, really with an evil eye. Especially Dolph Ziggler. It's like, you know, he's jealous that AJ Lee touches him and kisses him or whatever. Every time they go to kiss, he has this mean look on his face. So, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they're going for here, but, you know, it should be good, whatever, regardless. Um, next week, NXT is Jericho, Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho. In a one-on-one -on -one confrontation, it should be good next week. And I'll let you guys be the judge, in the, you know, over that match next week. Um, and let me know what you guys think about that matchup. And how you think it will go down. If you don't read spoilers. Um, then the main event, we got Wade Barrett and Bo versus Bo Dallas for the Intercontinental title in the main event. Nobody gave a shit about Bo Dallas. It was all about Wade Barrett here. Good match, though. It's not like Bo Dallas can't wrestle. He can wrestle. And this match with Barrett proved that. And it was a good match. And I enjoyed it. Barrett was a boss here and looked like a boss. And, um, as he should be a boss. And, you know, Dallas looked good here, too, as always. Um, I don't think Bat Bo Dallas is not a bad wrestler, per se, uh, at all. He's not. He's just not his brother, you know. But, um, at least his brother has a finisher that looks, you know, devastating and credible. Whereas Bo Dallas doesn't have a finisher that looks credible. But, um, 
Good good Intercontinental title match. The end it comes where Bo Dallas comes off from the top rope and Wary Bear hits him with a bullet hammer for all the win. Um and yeah, good match. Good show. Um let me know what you guys think about the show in the comment section below. And I'm doing a Q&A supposedly this weekend. So if you got any questions, you know, comment, you know, questions and put them down below. And, um, yeah, um, like I said, let me know what you guys thought about the show. Do you think NXT should do more, you know, shows like this in the future? I think they should definitely maybe even get the WWE title, world title in here, you know, somewhere. So I think, I think, you know, you know, they have some good ideas for NXT and, you know, I don't know if it's Triple H's idea or the officials, but it's, it was definitely a good idea to have a championship show surrounding, you know, on NXT. You know, I thought it was really good. The matches were good. The squash match was entertaining, I guess you could say. The United States title match was definitely good. I wish they could they would have continued that program on main TV. Uh, the Intercontinental title match, they should continue that on main TV as well. And the Divas title match was good as well. As we all know, they will continue that on main TV. Um... You know, being the fact that AJ won that Battle Royal this past Monday Night on Raw. So, I cannot wait to see what they do with NXT in the future. You know, especially with Biggie Langston and the NXT title. Um, hopefully, Leo Kruger or Connor O'Brien or Corey Graves, you know, somebody like that can win. I hope they don't give the belt back to Seth Rollins. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need the belt. Um, he shouldn't even be on NXT. I mean, they, they just beat The Undertaker, you know. So, I don't think that he needs the belt at all. But, um, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about NXT. I keep on saying that over and over again. But let me know what you guys think. So, yeah, this is the RJ with another video. I am out. Peace. See you later.